Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Monday. Welcome back. I hope your week is off to a good start. So today I thought I would share some of my current hair care favorites in terms of products that I like to use to give my hair a bit more oomph. So I am someone who has very fine, thin, um, also naturally gray hair. Uh, so for me, getting body and volume into my hair is sort of my entire life's goal. Both of my parents um, have incredibly fine, thin hair. So this is my lot in life. I always wish that I had thick, luscious locks, but it's, it's not going to happen. Luckily, there are products <laughs> that can help me get um, a, a more voluminous look to my hair and the stuff that I have to show you guys today are products that work incredibly well that I'm having really great luck with that I would like highly encourage you to check out if you are in the market for maybe trying something new. Um, as always, I will put links to everything that I share in the description box down below so you can read up, um, other people's reviews, ingredients, um, I don't know, hopefully help you make a decision on whether these are for you or not. So, um, yeah, my hair, very fine, very thin. <laughs> um, I, I kind of, I have sort of two looks that I like for my hair, just the everyday volume, which is typically something like this. Um, or I will take the time to round brush and put in some roll, some Velcro rollers, let those sit, you know, like, and then get really big hair, which really, really big hair for me is probably just n normal people hair <laughs> for most people. But for me, like that gets me a little bit closer to my ideal. So um, this everyday volume look here, I feel like is, um, is way better than my, just what my hair looks like without anything in it. I kind of look like a drowned rat. It's very, very flat. So I rely heavily on product. I, I cannot stress that enough. So, um, let's dive into some of these favorites here. I will try to be brief, but you guys, brevity is not my strong suit. So please bear with me. Um, the JVN Embody Daily Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner is the shampoo and conditioner that I really like to use on days where I am looking to get that big hair. Like if we're going out on a date, if we have an event or something, this is the shampoo and conditioner that I've been using before using some of these other products. I do really think it makes a difference to use a volumizing shampoo and conditioner. Uh, my everyday go-to is a hydrating shampoo and conditioner. And I have multiple, multiple products in my shower. I crave variety. Um, I don't use this one every single day. I totally could because it's not drying to the hair at all. JVN, um, Jonathan Van Ness developed this line with the key ingredient being this what he calls clean hemi-squalane. Um, squalane is very similar to your skin's natural oils, if you will. And so I feel like it, I, I love squalane oil on my face. I love it on my body. And turns out I actually really love it in my hair as well. Um, this does not weigh my hair down despite having that squalane in there. And um, it really kind of preps my hair for the styling after and allows me to achieve a much more significant oomph to my hair. Also, the fragrance of this particular line is quite light. It's just kind of a clean, fresh fragrance. Um, it's not overpowering. I know a lot of people out there don't like a ton of fragrance in their products, but I honestly, most of this stuff has fragrance in it of one kind or another. So, but this has a really light, clean, fresh scent to it. So, um, really, really love that. Um, getting out of the shower, uh, let's talk about, uh, the Orbe hair, hair alchemy fortifying treatment serum. I actually also have this shampoo and conditioner in my shower and I love it. It's fabulous. This particular line from Orbe is meant to strengthen the hair. And, um, while I wouldn't say that I have weak, or damaged hair per se. I'm very gentle with my hair now. I also think it's important to use products to strengthen it. So this is a fantastic leave-in that I put all throughout my hair. It doesn't weigh it down. You only need a small amount. The Orbe products are very concentrated, which is good because they are also very expensive. <laughs> 
I just splurged on Orbe for the first time last year, have kind of fallen in love with their products, and now I feel like um, I don't feel as bad justifying the expense of them. But that being said, I understand that not everybody wants to blow. I don't even know how much I paid for this, but anyway, moral of the story is I've been loving it in my hair. It leaves it really soft, but again, it doesn't weigh it down and it makes my hair shiny. So gray hair, um, if you're new here, this is natural. This is naturally gray hair. So, um, it makes my gray hair shiny. Like it's really hard to get gray hair to, to shine. Um, but that like, I don't feel like I have to use a shine serum or the Kenra Silkening Mist at all in my hair when I'm using that because it just gives it like a natural glow, shine, whatever you want to call it. That's fantastic, highly recommend, and super concentrated. So a bottle like this, this is quite a generous size. This is 5.9 fluid ounces, and this, I mean, I've had this since last November, and I'm just at the halfway point. So now granted, I'm not using it every single day, but I've used it very consistently and like, like a lot of times, and it's lasting, so I don't know. You might pay more for the high-end hair care, but it's also a lot more concentrated, so I think that's worth keeping in mind. Okay, scalp health. Scalp health is my big, um, my big jam right now because I am fairly certain that I'm he heading into perimenopause and one of the things that I keep hearing is hair loss, Ugh, hair thinning can totally be a thing. It's just as a result of the hormones changing and that's my biggest fear because I can't lose any of this. <laughs> There's so little of it to begin with. So. My big thing with, with anything in life, I believe prevention is key. So I am using a lot of like scalp health, health products, I guess you could call them, to really make sure that um, the root of everything is in good shape. So I don't have any drastic before and afters of like, this is amazing hair growth that I'm getting from these. I've only incorporated these, like the Bondi Boost products just within the last couple of weeks, the Whey Serum within the last like month or so. But um, I, I'm a firm believer in when it comes to skincare, wh whatever, just prevent the issue before it even starts, right? So scalp health. The Way uh, Scalp Serum, this is supposed to support thicker and fuller hair. By the way, I am still using it and I'm using them every single day. The City Beauty Complete Skin Restore, I swear by those supplements and that is the reason that my hair has gotten as long as it has because in the past my hair would never really grow past my shoulders. It just was super unhealthy and those supplements just made my hair it just completely changed my hair. So I cannot recommend those enough. I'll put a link to those in the description box down below as well. But this particular product, again, is meant to support thicker, fuller hair. Um, I basically just take a, a dropper full and um, it's got this really nice little pipette here and I just dot that all around my head. And then the key here is giving yourself a scalp massage. So every morning I've been putting this in and giving myself a scalp massage before putting in any styling products. Get that blood flow going to your scalp. It can only help, right? And then in the evenings, um, I've started incorporating the Bondi Boost Propacil Hair Tonic. This is uh, developed for thinning hair types. Um, and uh, this is fantastic because it's not oily or greasy. This intensive spray is... Uh, I think this is just supposed to help with like overall scalp health. This, this doesn't claim that it helps your hair grow or anything, um, but this intensive spray has vitamin B5 in it. It has peppermint, it has tea tree oil and nettle extract. Neither of these are greasy or oily. I have used these during the day as well in place of this a couple times. It fits in fine with my styling products, but I just figured do something more during the day, do something before going to bed. Your body certainly, um, you know, when you're sleeping, it, a lot of things happen while you sleep. So um, yeah, I spray these in my hair right before going to bed. Again, give myself another scalp massage for a couple minutes. Not only does it feel good, but it also relaxes me. I wish that I could get Craig to give me the scalp massage, but he has giant man hands and it just feels like he's like squeezing my head. That doesn't, that's not relaxing. <laughs> So I just do it myself and that's fine. Um, anyway, so nothing drastic in terms of before and afters to report quite yet, but I do think that my scalp feels really hydrated. 
it feels smooth. Like I don't deal with dandruff or anything like that to begin with, but I feel like my scalp just feels nicer, if you will. So um, I will certainly be updating you guys on the progress with those. Um, and let's keep going. All right, let's talk about some, actually, usually let's, I'm gonna do this by how I apply these products. A mousse that I've been loving. So I haven't really tried a lot from IGK, but this is their big time volume and thickening mousse. I picked this up at Ulta, they carry the line. And this is fantastic. It's a nice everyday volume for my hair. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say this is double the volume and thickness, which is what they claim, but it definitely gives my hair great everyday volume. And most importantly, it's a mousse that doesn't dry my hair out. Um, I use probably about like, I don't know, it's bigger than a golf ball, but it's not the size of a softball. <laughs> Softballs are huge, like I guess you could say baseball. <laughs> I use about that so kind of in between those ball sizes. It's weird, but I don't know, hopefully that's good visual for you. And I work it between my fingers and then really focus it mostly on the crown and kind of around like more of the top of my head. But I also run a little bit of this like through the lengths of my hair as well. And it doesn't leave it crunchy. It doesn't leave it feeling dry. Um, and it gives me that little bit of extra oomph that I crave in my hair. Um, if I am looking to really volumize my hair for like a special event, the Kenra Thickening Mousse is one that gives me like a substantial amount of oomph for that. But this has been fast fantastic for everyday volume. Um, definitely makes me want to try more from the line for sure. Um, like I said, that was one of the first things that I tried and I like it. I like it a lot. Also, volumizing sprays. I have a couple here. Uh, yeah, Orbe. We're back with the Orbe again. This is their Maximista Thickening Spray. Fantastic. Just a light spray throughout my hair after I apply my mousse and then, you know, comb through my hair and then I flip my head upside down and I blow dry my hair. Um, I actually, so I did film a like, um, like a blow dry routine. It was absurd, you guys. I, I looked back at the footage and I was like, I'm not uploading this. I, all I do with my hair is I blow dry it upside down. That's it. And I run like the brush through my hair so it doesn't get tangled. And then I flip it over and, and this is what it is. So I put the stuff in. I blow dry my hair upside down, I brush through it occasionally, and then I flip it up, and this is what I'm left with. That's my styling routine. For every day, anyway. Obviously, if, if I'm going out, I do the whole round brush thing. It's, just, it's like a giant production. It's a nightmare. Anyway, that's a great volumizing spray for sure, so check that out. Um, it's another product from Orbe that I've really come to enjoy and that I would absolutely repurchase in the future, so would recommend. Rain Cry, this is from the Rain Cry volume line. Um, this is the daily densifying treatment. This helps to build body, add root volume, and heat protection for fine to normal hair with stimulating copper, uh, copper peptides, biotin, and calendula extract. So this is kind of one of those like double duty products where you're getting a little bit of like a, um, like a treatment, if you will, in with a styling product. And I really like this a lot. Um, this Rain Cry brand is one that I am becoming very interested in. Um, and it's fantastic. This gives me quite a bit of volume in my hair. If I'm really looking to build it up, um, the, uh, the Kenra mousse and this, I get some big oomph from this for sure. Um, this is a 6.5 fluid ounce. I can't remember, I think I paid somewhere in the range of like 30 to maybe $38 for this. This is really fantastic. And um, yeah, Rain Cry is, they're cruel, all of this stuff, it, these are all cruelty-free brands. So if you're interested in that, check that out. Um, I have seen some Rain Cry stuff at uh, Costco of all places, not a ton, but there's a few things on Costco.com if you're interested in checking it out there. But typically I've been getting the Rain Cry stuff from Skin Store, so I will link that down below. But that's another kind of great double duty type product. So if you don't wanna bother with like this kind of stuff along with a like volumizing spray, there you go, just get that. <laughs> should see some good results. And um, the last thing I'm going to mention is the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. This is 
wonderful for giving your hair a little bit more of like a zhuzh. So on days where I want a lot of volume, I take this and it's kind of, it's a little bit like a dry shampoo where in the past I would actually use dry shampoos to get a little bit more texture in my hair. But this is, this doesn't leave that like white cast in the hair that dry shampoo can. So you just kind of spray this like throughout your hair at the roots and then like you can really like build up that extra volume. So I will do that like throughout my head and it really does add some more like I guess grip to your hair and it allows it to uh, look a lot more voluminous. So um, I really like this product a lot. I don't think it's a necessity for every single day. In fact, I think for the most part, I really like to save this for those special occasions. It's a little bit of a splurge product when it comes to something like this. They actually say that this is a, bril a brilliant <laughs> alternative to dry shampoo. So you can also use it as a dry shampoo if you want, but I, but I don't, this doesn't leave like that, like white cast in my hair, like a lot of dry shampoos do. And I realize you can brush that out, but you don't have to do that with this. So it saves a little bit of time. Anyway, you guys, those are the current uh, faves when it comes to the products that are working fantastically for my fine thin hair. Also, they seem to be working great with my hair being gray. So this wasn't like a gray hair video, gray hair related video at all. But I think if you have naturally gray hair, I've had really great luck with these. I don't think they dry my hair out. I don't think they make it feel crunchy and um, I get great results. So check them out if you're interested. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch today. I hope you have a great rest of your uh, day. How many times can I say day? And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.